Did you know that a staggering 77% of American adults are currently living in debt? That's right, more than 3 out of 4 people you know are probably struggling with debt right now. But here's what's really fascinating. There's a small group of people who've managed to stay completely debt-free, even in today's buy-now-pay-later world. They're not all millionaires, but they're not living like minimalists. They just think differently. Today, we're diving deep into the minds of debt-free people. What makes them different? How do they resist the temptations that trap so many others? I've spent years studying their habits and mindset, and I'm about to share the surprising traits that keep them financially free. This isn't just about money. It's about mastering your financial destiny. That's right, today I'll take it to Traits of Debt-Free People, the mindset that keeps them out of it. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and that little notification bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our video updates. Plus, it helps us spread the Thrive Wise love to help more people thrive wisely. Now, let's begin. But first, let's face the elephant in the room. Staying debt-free in today's world feels almost impossible. We're bombarded with targeted ads every time we open our phones. Social media influencers flash their latest purchases, making us feel like we're missing out. And credit card companies promise amazing rewards, while buy-now-pay-later services make everything seem affordable. But it's not just external pressure. Our own psychology works against us too. We're hardwired to want instant gratification, and our brains release dopamine when we make purchases. The modern financial system exploits these natural tendencies, making debt seem normal, even smart. Think about it. We're told student loans are good debt. We're convinced that car payments are just part of life. And don't even get me started on the pressure to buy a house before we're financially ready. All because renting is throwing money away. The result? Many of us are stuck in a cycle of working to pay off debt, while simultaneously taking on new debt. It's exhausting, it's stressful, and it can feel completely overwhelming. But here's the thing, debt-free people have found a way to break free from this cycle, and it starts with rewriting their thought patterns. So what exactly makes these debt-free unicorns different? Let's dive into their most fascinating traits, and trust me, some of these might surprise you. First up, debt-free people have what I call financial FOMO immunity. While others panic by the latest iPhone or jump on trending investments like they're catching the last helicopter out of a zombie apocalypse, these folks are surprisingly chill. They've developed an almost superhuman ability to say, that's cool, but nah. It's like they've got a financial force field that deflects impulse purchases. And here's a mind-blowing fact. Studies show that people make an average of 12 impulse purchases every month. Debt-free people, they average less than three. They're not immune to wanting things, they just process desire differently. Think of it like having a really good spam filter for your wallet. Here's our next trait. They're time travelers, at least in their minds. While most people think about immediate wants, debt-free individuals are mentally living in 2034. They've mastered what psychologists call temporal visualization, the ability to vividly imagine and emotionally connect with their future selves. When they're about to spend $500 on the latest gaming console, they're simultaneously imagining that same $500 growing into $2,000 in their retirement account. It's like having a financial DeLorean. And here's something fascinating. That free people actually schedule their splurges. Yes, you heard that right. Instead of trying to maintain iron willpower 24-7, which science proves is impossible, they build planned indulgences into their wallets. It's like having a cheat day on your diet, but for your wallet. They might save for 6 months to buy something expensive, but when they do, there's zero guilt and zero credit card hangover. But here's where it gets really interesting. 
these people have rewired their dopamine response. While most of us get ahead of pleasure from spending, they've trained their brains to get excited about saving. When their investment account grows or when they hit a savings goal, they experience the same rush others get from a shopping spree. One that free person I interviewed described checking her growing savings account as better than online shopping. Another crucial trait is that they've mastered the art of what I call selective abundance. This might blow your mind, but debt-free people often spend more than others in certain categories. They just choose these categories very carefully. They might drive a 10-year-old car but have the best coffee maker money can buy. They could live in a modest house but take amazing vacations. The difference? Everything is planned and paid for in cash. And here's a surprising statistic. 64% of Americans can't handle a $1,000 emergency without going into debt. But debt-free people? They treat their emergency fund like a VIP in their financial nightclub. It gets priority access, it gets the best treatment, and it never gets ignored. They see it as their personal time machine for teleporting away from future disasters. They also have a completely different relationship with marketing. While most people see a sale and think, how much will I save? Debt-free people think, how much will this cost? They're like Neo in the Matrix. They can see through the marketing code and recognize when they're being manipulated into a purchase. But perhaps their most powerful trait is what I call the wealth snowball mindset. Every dollar to them is like a tiny employee that could be put to work earning more money. When they get a raise while others are upgrading their lifestyle, they're asking themselves, how can I invest this to make more? It's like playing chess while everyone else is playing checkers. And here's something that might surprise you. that free people aren't all extreme budgeters or spreadsheet nerds. Many use what I call the lazy river approach to money management. They set up automated systems that keep their money flowing in the right direction with minimal daily effort. They're working smarter, not harder with their money. The real kicker? Most debt-free people report higher levels of life satisfaction than their peers, even when they have less expensive stuff. They figured out something profound. Freedom feels better than fleeting luxury. As one debt-free person told me, I sleep better on my paid-for modest mattress than I ever did on my finance luxury one. In fact, studies show that debt-free individuals experience 41% less financial stress than those with debt, which translates to better health outcomes, stronger relationships, and even improved job performance. It's like they've discovered a cheat code for life, and it all starts with their mindset. But by far, here's the game-changing revelation. The ultimate mindset shift that separates debt-free people from everyone else. They've completely redefined what affording something means. While most people think they can just afford something if they can make the monthly payments, debt-free people operate on a totally different wavelength. Their secret formula is that if you can't buy it twice, then you can't afford it once. This isn't just about money. It's about power. They realize that every debt is actually a claim on their future freedom. When most people see a $300 monthly payment, that free people see 300 reasons that they might have to say no to future opportunities. They understand that today's conveniences become tomorrow's cage. Think about it this way. Would you voluntarily put on a pair of handcuffs that you could only remove by paying someone else for the next five years? That's exactly what debt feels like to these people. They're not being cheap or afraid. They're protecting their freedom like it's the last slice of pizza at a party. This mindset shift is so powerful because it transforms spending from an emotional decision into a strategic one. They don't ask, can I pay for this? 
they ask, will this payment own me? Remember, becoming debt-free isn't about deprivation. It's about liberation. By adopting these mindsets, such as the financial formal immunity, future-focused thinking, selective abundance, and most importantly, redefining what affordable means, you're not just avoiding debt, you're choosing freedom. Also, what's the craziest thing you've ever been told you need to finance? Share your story below and let's see who's gotten the wildest sales pitch. And well, that's basically traits of debt-free people, the mindset that keeps them out of it. And thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And hey, it seems that YouTube thinks that the next video can completely transform your financial situation. Watch it to find out what did I correct. And please don't forget to click the subscribe button to see more videos on how to thrive wisely. Till next time.